Pokey Pulse TV is at the first annual Feature Contemporary Art Fair right here in downtown Toronto, featuring work from over 20 art galleries across Canada, including the work of renowned South Asian artist Divya Mera. We're at the first annual Feature Contemporary Art Fair here in Toronto and it's such an exciting time for the city. Tell me about the fair. The fair is actually uh, the second fair that we organize. AGAC, which is the Association of Contemporary Art Gallery, yeah. is a structured not-for-profit which represents 40 galleries across Canada. And we are also the organizer of another fair in Montreal. This time it's our very first time in Toronto. And of course, Anoki Pulse TV was on hand to check out the work of contemporary South Asian artist Divya Mera, whose pieces work to highlight the complexities of individual cultural identity in South Asian diasporas. Divya, I've been standing here admiring your work for a while now, and I love the messaging, the cultural identity, your cultural identity that has gone into these pieces. Describe to me the process of creating this art and how it is a reflection or a part of you. The work for me usually sort of starts from a really personal perspective. It's either from an experience that I have with the public or like a really private moment and then I want to make sure that the work can sort of like speak to more people. So Talk to me about the diaspora and your cultural identity because I know that there is a strong message in your artwork and I think that South Asians in general need to hear that message. My parents are from India, my dad's from Delhi and my mom's from Bombay. A lot of the work that I do speaks to being a first generation South Asian. What is our position as being part of the the diaspora six years after the partition. So what I'm interested in is investigating that aspect of the diaspora. What is going on between all of these folks that are Hindu, Muslim, or Sikh? What do you want the takeaway to be for those who come and view your pieces of art or read the words? The takeaway for me would be that I want people to ask more questions. So when they see something, when they see a work like this, and they see the text like white as shit or black as shit, it's like, what does that expression mean? Where does it come from? What is she talking about that it goes from like white as shit to another color like Pakistan green as shit or Tiffany blue as shit? Like what, what is the artist sort of working with? You know, with the work, I always want people to laugh and find something funny and then realize the subject matter, how serious it is, and then start to break it down and get into it.